Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 3rd of September 2020. Thanks for joining me, it's a pleasure to be with you today. I'm using the Wheel of the Year Tarot for this reading. Let's see what the cards want you to know on Thursday the 3rd and what energy you'll be working with. We have the moon. Interesting, as we had a full moon in the astrology on the 2nd of September, we had a full moon in Pisces. Check out that video if you haven't already. That's been a really strong influence. So we've got the moon, then we have justice in reverse and the lovers. Wow. Okay. So first of all, we did have this amazing full moon happen recently. The moon is uh, waning down now and it's kind of um, cycling down. The energy is not as intense as it has been and it's becoming manageable. So usually the moon represents this strange light that fills everything full of fear and it gives you a great desire and clarity as in where you want to get to in life and where you want to go, but it doesn't ease the path and it makes shadows look much longer than they really are and it can look really scary and it can put you off. The moon in this deck is this crescent moon here that she's sitting on and she's kind of dangling her feet and really just enjoying herself with these flowers there. So it's something she's mastered. So fear has been mastered today. So you get the best energy of the full moon. I always say that it's a gradual thing. These things don't just happen at, you know, 1.01 a.m. in the morning on the 5th and then it's over. No, it happens at some point during the day, but it's gradual. So it builds up the day before, then the day itself, and then the day after. Here we're on the day after. The best of the Pisces full moon energy is that you're really tuned into everything and you feel a natural sense of joy because you're connected to source, to joy, and chores and difficulties in life aren't that difficult because you're strong, you're not afraid, there's no anxiety, and you're able to deal with those things. You get that in spades and tons and infinite amounts today. You're able to take fears in your life and you're able to take practical action to overcome those fears. There's a great book written on this, which I always recommend because it changed my life. It's a book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, written by Susan Jeffers in the 80s. And it goes into this concept of fear and how it governs our lives. So let's say you want to open a school then this huge fear will come up and it will be like, oh, well, you don't know what you're doing yet and you don't have the money. Just open the school when you have things together and when you're not as afraid. And that will keep happening and you'll put it off and put it off and put it off until the school never happens. The only way to do it is to open the school while you're afraid and then to sort everything out, to get to get all the licenses and to get the right teachers and the... And the um, study materials together. And it's only when it's working and up and running that the fear goes away. So it's feel the fear and do it anyway, because you have to act now on what you want to do despite the fear. That's the only way to master it. Don't let the fear tell you to do it tomorrow or yeah, deal with it when you're in a better place. Procrastinate, put it off. Tomorrow, 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 not today. So that's something you're easily able to overcome today. <clears throat> and you're able to um, channel your your desires and what you feel connected to and what you feel good about. You're able to channel that in an earthy way because the moon is now coming to an end. The moon was in Pisces, so it's very it's very much about um, being grounded now and getting practical and not letting your mind run away with you and your feelings, but instead taking what it is you want, channeling it, focusing it, and then celebrating your success. The next card is justice, and justice is about balance. And if we had the spread this way around, then we have love and marriage, and the lovers, soulmates, twin flames, being together forever. And that's in perfect balance, with overcoming fear, letting your feelings guide you, 
getting real vulnerable <clears throat> and overcoming obstacles. It's not balanced. They're two very different experiences. One is alone. The other is in connection to someone else. Um, but the fundamental thing is that they both stem from love. So you can only love another person when you feel connected to something that lets you know what love is and then you can love someone else and vice versa. And this, you can only overcome your fear through loving yourself and connecting to something bigger and realizing that everything's going to be okay. Even falling in love with yourself and having faith. And there's no comparison here. There's no balance between the two. And the justice card is cause and effect. It's the karma card. What you put in, you get out. And today, there is no, there is no rhyme and reason to things. You can't predict what's going to happen today because... The scales of the universe, the scales of um, the divine are really biased in your favor because by overcoming the things you fear and thereby being in touch with your feeling, the big step up is that you get to this place of equality in love where you really raise your frequency and your vibration and you start to attract the kind of person that you want. So I guess the balance thing to overcoming fear and an obstacle would be the reward of having overcome that obstacle and getting success from it. But today you're getting like this divine lottery win in the sense that you're doing something for yourself that that's wonderful. And it, it, overcoming any fear is a reward in itself, right? I'm not afraid anymore. Hooray. I can sit on the moon and dangle my feet and celebrate. But because you do this thing for yourself, you believe in yourself, you have faith, you don't let fear get you down. The scales of justice are really biased in your favor. And they say, well, little Georgie or Sarah or Peter or whatever have overcome their fears today. So let's really reward that person with an even greater love from the universe that they could have never expected. So whatever you give yourself today, the universe doubles it. So if you love yourself today, the universe will double that and will bring you loads to love yourself about and someone else or something else. If you overcome one obstacle and fear, it's really likely that you swipe another one off the shelf just by taking down the one fear. You unwittingly resolve the second fear as well. The universe is really on your side. So it's like manifestation squared. The good news is that this isn't fear. So the gift from the universe really is that you don't have to work a lot to handle your fears and to overcome them. You just naturally feel so strong that they can't touch you. So that's biased as well because you're not really doing the work. You just naturally take the, you take the antidote to the fear. So if the fear is saying you're not good enough, ruminate on that. You naturally know that to overcome the fear is to open the textile shop, for instance, to start doing business and to see that you are good enough by making a profit. That's the only way to get over it. So that's given to you. Anything you're afraid of today, face. <clears throat> face anything that really causes you anxiety, the kind of thing where you wake up at three in the morning, you think about it and you shudder and you start sweating. Life isn't fair which is great for you today because any good thing is doubled. So make sure that you do great things for yourself because the universe is giving you cash back, basically. You spend 20 quid and you get 20 quid back. So you do something nice for yourself, the universe does something nice for you too. You're unlikely to be afraid and in fear and vicious and jealous, but if you do find yourself operating in that lower self of fearful emotions, Pull yourself out and say, remember who you are. Have faith that things are going to work out for you. You are loved. That's the only reason for fear today, forgetting that you are loved and that things are going to work out for you. By remembering that, the universe says, well done for having faith, for trusting us. Here you go. Here is something wonderful. So it's instant manifestation. It's a great day for love. It's a, a great day to love yourself and to start a new relationship. 
Take advantage of this instant manifestation by doing really positive things for yourself and maxing those out and facing all the things that bother you today and clearing them out of the way once and for all with this bias on your side. Number wise, we've got 18 and um, 11 is 29 and 6 is 35. 3 and 5 is 8 and 8 is strength and power. So you really have the power to bring love into your life today. Amazing. Have a wonderful time. If you'd like a personal reading with me, then please get in touch by my website. It's gregoryscott.com. I can answer any questions you may have in a personal reading. So if you want to know anything about your life purpose or love, money, travel, moving, health, strengths and weaknesses, the future, anything at all, then please do get in touch via the website gregoryscott.com. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. So hit the like button, share the video online and hit the subscribe button as well to be part of the community here that we've got on YouTube. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.